Good morning everyone, it's Rosemary here from Rosemary Sweet Stamping and today we are going to make this beautiful mermaid shaker card. Isn't she beautiful? And we're going to be using our magical mermaid stamp set. Now for our card today, we will also need our foam adhesive strips to create our shakers. You definitely want to make sure you have those. It will make your life so much easier when we're doing this. We're also going to use a piece of our mint macaroon for our card base. We will use a piece of our designer series paper in our tranquil textures, a piece of whisper white, and we will also use a piece of our mint macaroon. Okay, so let's get started with our mermaid. We will also use our stitched shapes framelits. Now, I'm going to use the largest two dies and we put them together like this to create a frame. When you're running this through your Big Shot, you want to lay both dies on your paper, run it through your Big Shot, and it's gonna give you these two pieces. This is what we wanna use. This you can use or save it for later. We're also using our largest circle to cut out a piece of our window sheet, and we're also using it to cut out our circle for our background of our card. So let's put our card together. The first thing we want to do is we want to create our beautiful mermaid. So for this, we're going to use our Versamark ink. So let me go ahead and put her on one of our blocks. It's not going to work. You know what, we're gonna use our Stamparatus for her. Why not, right? So we're just gonna lay our paper down. Oop, I got something on it. That's okay, we'll flip it over. So we're gonna add our image. Make sure she fits nicely. And she does. Pick her up and we're gonna ink her up. just like that. And that's going to give us a really nice watermark so that we know exactly where to put our embossing powder. So I'm just going to cover all of these things because I don't want my powder getting everywhere. And we're going to use our gold embossing powder so that, let's see, flip her around here. There she is. Now you can totally see her, huh? And there we go. Nice. So we have just these little stray marks here. If you want to run an embossing buddy over so that you don't have that, you can. I always forget to, and I'm okay with it, but some people are not, so because I'm gonna cut her out, so it's not such a huge deal. All right, and I'll just move this. So once we have her, we are going to run our heat tool so that you can see the beautiful gold embossing powder. So remember, you don't wanna move around in circles for this. You wanna stay in one spot until you start to see it change, just like that. Then you're going to start running it over your stamped image, and this is where the magic happens. All right. There it is. Beautiful. And there she is. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and color our beautiful mermaid here. And we are going to use our Tranquil Tide, our Mint Macaroon, our Sahara Sand, and for her body, we are also going to use our Petal Pink. So I'm going to start off with her tail using the Tranquil Tide. And I'm just going to use our Aqua Painter. I'm going to pick up some color. You want to squeeze lightly and then you just start going into your image so that you can...
get that beautiful color onto her tail. I'm gonna clean that off. And now I'm going to use my mint macaroon. I want to add a little color, so I give it a good squeeze. Wasn't strong enough on that one. All right. And I'm going to pick up some of our color here, and we want to fill in to add that contrast in her tail. And then we're going to use the rest of this to just color her tail in down here that nice beautiful green there it is <gasps> she's so pretty and now we're gonna use our Sahara sand so I'm just cleaning off my aqua painter to do her hair so we're just going to I'll put it on this side go in and color her hair And there it is. All right. So super easy, super quick. So we're using our petal pink. And we're going to come in and just color her arm and her torso so that she has a little more color to her. And that's it. That's how fast and simple this is. Do you see? Ooh, fancy. I love it. So we're going to put her to the side for a bit so that she can go ahead and dry. And we're going to do the rest of our stamping. So here we have our background. And for this, we are going to use Have a Magical Birthday. So let me pull in my Stamparatus and place it exactly where I want it. Just like that. And for this sentiment, anchor it. Oh, I want it to be on this side. And we're gonna use our knit macaroon stamp pad for this. So we're just going to ink it up and make sure it is exactly where we want it to be. Add a little more. Just like that. Beautiful. All right, and then I'm gonna use our Stampin' Chamois to just give it a good wipe. Because I need to clean my stamps before I put them away. It makes me happy. So I do. There we go. Make sure she's nice and clean. And she is. There they go. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add our background to our piece of soft sea foam. And for this, we're going to cut it at, we're going to do four and five and a quarter. Four and five and a quarter. And we're going to start our stamping. So for our sand with our, and you can see it has these cute little shells and it has a cute little crab on it. We're going to use the darker of the greens that we're using. So we're going to use our Tranquil Tide to just go over the bottom here. Just like that. Go. Clean that off on our chamois and then we're going to do our seaweed and we're going to use our soft sea foam and we're using this stamp right here which is our seaweed and we're just going to create that background just like that. 
Actually, let's do a light and dark. We'll do our mint macaroon first. And then we'll go in with our soft sea foam. There. Ooh, I like that contrast. Very nice. And then we can just add some lower. Nice. I like it. Very cute. So for that, we used our soft sea foam ink pad also. There it is. And here, this is where we're going to start to assemble our card. So here's our card base. We're going to apply our background to the base of our card. And we are going to use our adhesive. Just like this. There we go. And here we're going to add our sentiment right here to the middle. Actually, we're gonna offset it. So let's add our designer series paper. Just like that. Right there. Then we're gonna go ahead and add this to our background, but I also wanna add a little more dimension to it. So I'm gonna add these little specks. I'm gonna take the little specks and we're going to add the little specks. And we're gonna use our soft sea foam for that. That's cute, I like that. There we go. And now we're gonna adhere our little magical mermaid thing to our card right about there. That looks good. Oops, I think I didn't push it down. Now I like it, I like where it is now. And for this, remember that you are gonna need your adhesive strips so that we make our life so much easier when we're making our beautiful shaker cards. Now, the trick to this is going to be to actually, you want to go directly on top of our the stitching so that when you add your frame, it's directly on top of the stitching. You can also cut this out in a smaller circle, but I, had, I already had it ready for you like this, so we're just going to go for it. And this is really easy to mold to whatever shape you're using it for. So you want to make sure that you push down completely so that it really creates that barrier because we need a very strong barrier when we're making shaker cards. We don't want any of our beads or glitter or sequins to come out of our shaker card when we're shaking it. That would definitely not be a good thing. So let's see how much more we might need here. I think about there is good. It takes all the guesswork or all the struggling of cutting over and over again into making our cool shaker cards. So when you're adding a piece, just like I am here, you want to make sure that you squeeze all the way. And then we're going to continue. And it's overlapping there, so we just want to cut that piece off. Just be careful when you do cut that you don't overcut because then it's a little harder to fix. So I have a gap right there that I need to cut a little bit more. There we go. Beautiful. All right. I just want to come off my finger. There we go. Okay, so now we're just going to take off our adhesive from our adhesive strips so that we can have now we can add some of our sequins. So we're just going to add. A little bit 
Right. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. And we're just going to add our window sheet to this. So let's just clean it off because it's been on our crafting table here. And you're just going to add it to that adhesive that's there. Again, making sure that when you add your little window sheet that you're pushing all the way down because we don't want any of that stuff to come out. So we just added our window sheet and our adhesive. And now we're going to just add our Tombow glue all the way around our paper here to create our beautiful frame. Just like that. Whoops. Does that want to go? And set it down. We're going to let that absorb to our window sheet while we cut out our mermaid so that we can add our mermaid to our beautiful card. Here we go. We're almost there. Yay. All right. There we go. And now all we need to do is add some dimensionals to her and put her on our beautiful shaker card. And our card is now ready to give to someone special. And can you imagine how fun? How fun. This card is so fun, I love it. So we're just gonna add her right. Let's add her over here to the side more. Just like that. I want to add another dimensional over here to her, whoops, to her head. I thought I did. There she is. And there is our beautiful magical mermaid shaker card. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe.